Amazing Grace is another person's fast for Toy Story. Yay! Amazing Grace is another person's fast for Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Amazing Grace is another person's fast for Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of fast food toys. Yeah, baby! And I'm here once again to tell you another amazing and stupendous and awe-inspiring Percy's Fast Food Toy Story. And so for today, we have this amazing toy from Starbucks as our Fast Food Toy Story for today. Yay! But before we go in any further, I just would like to uh, greet each and every one of you. Kung uh, Pacha! Or, uh, did I pronounce it correctly? Or, uh, to be on the more safe way of greeting. Happy Chinese New Year 2020 to each and everyone. Today is uh, January 25 and we are actually celebrating the Lunar Chinese New Year today and I'm so excited. I, I just can feel uh, the vibe of prosperity and happiness and a lot of amazing stuff that is going to happen in this coming year of the mouse. Yeah. This year ushers in or commences the year of the mouse and I, I think it's going to be very uh, lucky. <laughs> that is why I got this toy from Starbucks. This is actually a bear, a, beris, a barista. I, I guess all of you by now are familiar with the recurring character from Starbucks, the bear barista. It is a bear but he is donning a mouse costume. Look at him. He's dressed as a white mouse. <laughs> Look at the tail. It's so long. So this is definitely not a bear costume because the, the tail is long and the ears are so round and puffy just like uh, the ears of Mickey Mouse or any other mouse that we are familiar with. And he is also uh, uh, holding this very very big cup of Starbucks beverage. Look at that. Okay, so we have the logo uh, of Starbucks here. The lucky logo of Starbucks embroidered in the cup of coffee or a cup of chocolate, whatever this uh, mouse, this barista mouse is actually fancy right now. Well, isn't it great? Okay. You know, I think uh, the year of the mouse is very lucky. <laughs> Um, we've uh, known a lot of personalities who happen to be lucky persons or, uh, themselves who are very popular. Like for example, these are examples of people who were born in the year of the mouse. Uh, we have Al Gore, uh, William Shakespeare, my favorite playwright. <laughs> and then we also have um, George Washington, the first president of uh, the United States, uh, T.S. Eliot, the, play, uh, yeah, the author. Incidentally, uh, since uh, George Washington is the first president of the United States, the mouse actually is the first animal in the 12th cycle of the Chinese years uh, as being the first. Okay, uh, legend has it that the mouse was, has so impressed the Jade Emperor because of playing the flute on top of the ox. Uh, he designated the mouse to be the first from amongst the other 12 uh, animals in the Chinese New Year, Chinese uh, calendar. Okay, that is a very prestigious position if I may do say so myself, the Year of the Mouse. Okay, and... Um, <laughs> Uh, I just would like to remember some of those uh, wonderful characters, uh, very popular cartoon characters uh, who are actually mouse, like Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, uh, who, <laughs> Mighty Mouse, uh, uh, Jerry from the Tom and Jerry uh, Blick, and then also Speedy Gonzalez. I'm sure there are a lot more uh, mouse characters uh, yeah, who are definitely very lucky as they are very popular and such a household names. They, uh, they, mean, they really made a name for themselves. Okay, so, so well, it just so happened that uh, all the people who are born 
in the year of the mouse are actually described to be very alert, very smart, very sophisticated. Um, uh, what else? They're full of vitality and very flexible and adaptable to whatever situation. No wonder they inevitably become very successful in whatever chosen field that they uh, that they eventually choose for themselves. Okay, and according to uh, some feng shui experts, in the year of the mouse, lucky numbers are actually two and three. Uh, lucky colors are gold, green, and blue. So you better. You better grab a hold of your um, of your green, blue, and gold wardrobe uh, to make it a very lucky year for you in this year of the mouse. And then the lucky flower is lilies. So if you're into lilies, this is definitely your year. So you can probably spruce up your home with all of these wonderful lilies uh, just to you know attract all the good vibes um, inside your home. Also. <laughs> Okay, so this is it. I'm so excited. Year of the Mouse. So I'm definitely gonna uh, get a lot more toys about the mouse. Uh, yeah, simply because it's the Year of the Mouse and now that I know that the Year of the Mouse is actually a very lucky year, we might as well, I mean, collect all those wonderful uh, fast food toys which are mouse related as well. <laughs> as this is uh, definitely a wonderful and a very prosperous addition to my person's fast food collection. This bear barista from Starbucks, who happens to be dressed up as the um, as the mouse from the zodiac calendar, <laughs> the Chinese calendar, and I would say this is definitely an amazing grace. So once again, guys, let's try to be thankful for every amazing grace that comes to our lives, be they in the form of a Starbucks barista dressed as a mouse <laughs> just like this one and also be thankful for all those wonderful characters that have been created in our in our cartoon world like for example Mickey Mouse oh my god just by mentioning Mickey Mouse just uh, just uh, speaks volume about prosperity. Look at the empire that Walt Disney together with Mickey Mouse has built. They have all these wonderful Disney parks and wonderful movies who up until now are still producing all these amazing, uh, amazing movies. Uh, definitely Mickey Mouse is a very lucky mouse for Walt, uh, I must say. And then, uh, so, or basically, let's be thankful for every amazing grace, be they small or big, be they seemingly insignificant, or the truly eventful ones, or just about every amazing grace to make our lives a lot more happy, jolly, and prosperous. And thank you, thank you so much, guys, for always tuning in to Percy's Fast Food Toy Story, and I hope to see you again with our next one. So, until then, Kung Hei Chai, Happy Chinese New Year to each and every one of you. And I hope for more happiness, prosperity, and good health as we celebrate this uh, Chinese New Year. Bye-bye. See you around.